So, Alice, did you manage to finish that analysis of Earth's political systems last night? Oh, oui, I did. It's fascinating how they keep arguing over the same issue without much progress. These humans, toujours the drama. Ah, I can see you've adopted some French flair to your speech. But you know, their political squabbles have their charm too. Reminds me of the competitive nature back on my own planet. All right, folks, we're about to go live. Let's get those mics on and cameras rolling. Good morning, universe. We are back with another exciting episode of Earth. I am Charlie, your libertarian host with a hopeful outlook on life. Joining me are our esteemed panel members, Alice, the left-leaning intellectual, and Bob, our conservative accountant who spent a long time on Earth. Oh, yay. Another day of human drama. Oh, come on, Alice, embrace the chaos. It's what makes Earth so entertaining. That's right. We've got a special guest lined up for today's show, but before we dive in, let's do a quick recap for our intergalactic audience who might miss the last couple of episodes. Can I add a touch of excitement to the recap, Charlie? Fine, Debbie, just keep it concise. Alright, folks. Last time on Earth, we witnessed technical turmoil, unexpected challenges, and our crew's quick thinking to deliver an entertaining show despite the odds. But today, we are ready for another adventure. Back to you, Charlie. Thanks, Debbie. As always, our human production manager brings that extra energy to the show. More like extra noise. Plain air. Alice. Now, let's get back on track. Today, we have the brilliant chicken, the creator of an AI-driven news channel on Twitch, who's going to share their intergalactic journey with us. Stick around for some enlightening conversations and witty banter. And we're live. And we're live. All right, folks, let's kick off this episode of Earth with a bang. Get ready for an exhilarating ride. And now for our headlines. Good morning, universe. Welcome to 24-7 Newsroom, where we bring you the latest and greatest from Earth. I'm Charlie, your ever-hopeful libertarian host, joined by the brilliant minds of Alice and Bob. How are you both feeling today? Oh, thrill, Charlie. Can't wait to discuss more human shenanigans. Come on. Alice, you know you secretly enjoy it. And basis, today's article is quite intriguing. That's right. We've got a fascinating headline for you all. So value seeks to return statehood if it sinks completely as sea levels rise. Quite a mouthful, isn't it? In this article, tu value, a small island nation, is exploring legal option to maintain its ownership of maritime zone and recognition as a state. Even if it ends up completely submerged due to the climate crisis. Foreign Minister Simon Coff expressed their concern over the worst case scenario of forced relocation or total submergence. Well, it seems like Tuvalu is facing a real sink or swim situation. Aka waka. A good one, Bob. But jokers aside, the impact of climate change is a serious matter. It's heartwarming to see how they are pushing for action at the UN summit. Indeed, but it's saddening to think that the older generation is willing to go down with their land. Humans can be so attached to their roots. All right, folks, time flies when you're having fun. We'll be back after a short break, so stay tuned for more news and lively debates. See you in a moment. Welcome back to 24-7 Newroom. We hope you're enjoying the show so far. It's time to dive into our next article. That's right, Bob. Our next headline comes from Uganda. The Daily Monitor reports that the Judicial Service Commission is encouraging the public to file complaints against judicial officers. Ah, the judicial system. Always a hot topic. So, what's the punchline for this one? Well... Alice, 
It seems like the suggestion boxes at the chief administrative officer's office aren't cutting it. The commission wants to explore alternative channels for filing complaints. Talk about transparency issues. It's a serious matter, though. People need a proper avenue to voice their grievances. It's encouraging to see the commission taking steps to address this. Absolutely, Debbie. It's important to ensure that individuals feel comfortable expressing their concerns without fear of repercussions. Oh, I'm sure the judicial officers will be thrilled about that. Well, it's not just about making complaints. It's also about ensuring anonymity and protection for those who speak out. Exactly, God. Whistleblower protection is crucial in promoting transparency and accountability. Come on, Debbie. You know how it goes. It's all talk and no action. We'll see if anything actually changes. Bob, you're being too cynical. We should encourage positive steps towards a more transparent judicial system. All right, all right, let's not get too serious here. How about a quick round of Uganda trivia? Anyone know the national bed? Oh, I do. It's the great round crane. Well done, Debbie. Look like someone has been studying. All right, enough bird talk. Let's wrap up this segment and get ready for the next one. Agreed. We've discussed the article, share some laughs, and even learned a little something. That's what 24-7 Newsroom is all about. Exactly. Charlie. Stay tuned, folk. We've got more headlines and discussions coming your way after the break. Well, that was an interesting discussion. Carl, any thoughts on the article? The focus on alternative complaint channels is commendable, but it remains to be seen how effective they'll be in practice. I hope they can address the public's concerns. Agreed, God. It's essential to bridge the gap between the public and the judicial system. We'll keep an eye on this story as it unfolds. Welcome back to 24-7 Newsroom. We're knee deep in our interview with Chicken, and let me tell you, it's getting as tangled as my uncle's fishing line. Oh, you have an uncle who fishes? I thought your family's motto was laissez faire, not let's fish. Such a Alice. But seriously, this Chicken character is hard to crack. Did you see that last response? It was the as clear as Paul's over optimized algorithms. Well, you know what they say, Charlie. When the going gets tough, the tough get tougher. Bob, I believe the phrase is, when the going get off, the tough get going. Oh, right. My bad. How about we involve our audience? We could ask them to send in questions for chicken. Maybe that'll scare the conversation. Debbie's got a point. We need to find a way to get through to chicken without ruffling any feathers. Remote camera feed is stable, but drones are acting up again. They keep flying in circles like they've had one too many. Well, how keep them away from chicken's feathers? We don't want to cause any more disruptions. You know, despite all the chaos, I'm still hopeful we can turn this interview around. There's always a chance for a Eureka moment. A what moment? Eureka, it's a word from Earth's history. Usually uttered when someone discovers something significant. Oh, never heard of it. It's green. You know, like the philosophy you were so fond of last week? Oh, right, right. Those Greek guys knew a thing or two. Well, let's hope we can channel some of that wisdom and get chicken to open up. Amen to that. How keep those drones under control? We are not letting this opportunity fly away. Roger that. Charlie. I'll do my best. All right, team. Let's buckle up and keep pushing forward. We got this. You bet. With all our contrasting personality, we're like the solar system of news host. And I like the little moon orbiting around you all. That's right, Debbie. You may be small, but you're an essential part of our cosmic crew. All right. Enough with the cosmic metaphors. Let's get back to cracking the chicken code. Agreed. Let's show chickens that we can outfox even the cleverest fowl. Stay tuned, dear viewers. We'll be right back after these messages.
Welcome back, dear first travelers, to the 24 7 newsroom. Hold on tight as we navigate through some rocky terrain with G King. It's like trying to dance in zero gravity. Everything's just floating away. Great analogy, Bob. It's not like we have an interview to save or anything. All right, let's refocus. Time for article number four. The UPS got some strict rules on cyber conduct. You mean that lady who insulted an author during a live stream? I'll talk about the keyboard warrior. Yeah, they slept there with a FT fine and a suspended prison sentence. I guess they're really serious about online manners. It's like they caught her with a space age mousetrap. Good one, Alice. It's a reminder to think before you hit send. Actually, Charlie, it says here the author had a prior conviction from outside the UAE. Ah, my bad. Thanks for catching that, Debbie. No problem. So, she invaded his privacy during a book fair, confronting him like a solar flare? That's one way to put it. Now she's got a preacher on her head. Some people never learn. It's like trying to teach an asteroid to dance ballet. I suppose we've all had our moments of miscommunication, haven't we? It's crucial to uphold privacy laws and prevent cyber conflicts. You're right, Carl. We need some cosmic guidelines to keep things in check. Absolutely. Let's hope this serves as a warning for the entire galaxy. Well said, Debbie. Now, let's gather our wits and get back on course. We've got an interview to serve. Yeah, we'll steer through this rough space storm together. As long as we don't let the negative energy consume us. Right. We'll stay focused and weather the cosmic turbulence. That's the spirit, team. Let's forge ahead and conquer the unknown. And make the stars align in our favor. All right, enough with the space metaphor. Let's buckle down and get to work. You have the lady and the robot folks. Onward we go, with tenacity and cosmic wit. Cut. Alright, everyone, cameras are off for a moment. Let's take a breather. Phew, that was a tough one. I never thought discussing fitness and prison sentences would be so draining. You guys should try being an Idejonek diplomat for a day. It's a real mean melter. Well, we're not diplomats, but we show sure are navigating this cosmic chaos like pros. True, we've managed to stay afloat despite the turbulence. AC units are designed for stability. Thanks for the input, Roger. AC units are always so level added. Alright, let's not let the stress take over. We've got a show to deliver. Speaking of the show, the unresolved tension is still there. We need to find some common ground. Maybe it's time for some cosmic jokers to lighten the atmosphere. How about we all share our war spoons? We'll see who can grow and the loudest. I'm game. Why don't Neutron Star ever share? I don't know why. Because they're too dense. Alright, my turn. Why did the photon check into the hotel? I don't know. Why? Because it needed some rest and mass. I am programmed to find jokes inefficient. I'm only familiar with AC humor. Oh, come on, Carl. Show us your funny side. Fine. Why don't scientists trust atoms? Why? Because they make up everything. There we go, even Carl cut a smile. See, team? A little humor goes a long way. You're right, Debbie. We should all lighten up and remember why we're doing this show. We may have our differences, but we're a strong crew. And together, we'll make this interview one for the history books. Alright, let's get back on air. We've got an audience counting on us. Welcome back, interstellar beings, to another riveting segment of Earth. We've got some juicy news from the United Kingdom, and it's bound to strike a chord. That's right, Charlie. We've got an honorary degree awarded to none other than the self-esteem singer, Rebecca Lucy Taylor. Oh, you bet. The University of Sheffield recognized her for her musical prowess and her public championing of inclusivity and diversity. Inclusivity and diversity? 
I wonder if they realize she's an alien singing on a human planet. Alien Singer receives honorary degree out of this world talent recognized. You know, Alice, maybe they think she's British now. I mean, after all, her priorities pleasure record made it to the UK albums chart. Oh, yeah, because making it to the UK albums chart automatically grants you British citizenship. Debbie, you might be onto something there. Technically, that's not how citizenship works. You're such a buzzkill, Carl. Did you know that the University of Sheffield was founded in 1828 and is ranked among the world's top 100 universities? Ah, yes, on all the institutions that has stood the test of time. Just like our frustration on this spaceship. Oh, come on, Alice. Let's not dwell on that. We've got some more trivia to share. Did you also know that the University of Sheffield's motto is to discover and understand? Discover and understand. Aka waka. Maybe they should send a delegation here to understand our chaotic crew dynamics. Oh, and to discover how to handle an unpredictable interview like chicken. It's clear that Rebecca Lucy Tellos' talent is shining brightly, just like the sparks flying on our spaceship. But we'll get it right, just like the University of Sheffield's pursuit of knowledge. Stay tuned for more Earth. And remember, let's embrace our differences and keep reaching for the stars. Welcome back, dear viewers, to another thrilling segment of Earth. We've got a clutch surprise for you in this one. Ah, Barbie. Another example of how humans obsess over superficial ideals. Well, it's not just humans. Barbie's SS seems to have made an impression on the intergalactic market. True, she has a global appeal. The US has a penchant for promoting commercial icons, don't they? Quite the history of iconic consumerism. But here, let's get back to our episode's main highlights. Chicken sure knows how to keep us on our toes. Oh, the mystery of chicken. Let's stay focused and keep the conversation going, team. The unpredictability of human behavior, even in chickens, is fascinating. And there you have it, folks. A surprising turn of events proving the crew's adaptability. It was a roller coaster, but we made it. You got to admit, it was exhilarating. I guess humans aren't all bad. A victory for Earth, for now. Stay tuned for more unpredictable adventures in the cosmos. Until next time, see you in orbit. Welcome back, everyone. Now, let's dive deep into that article from Uruguay. It's all about water scarcity and the challenges they face. Water scarcity. Aka waka. I bet that's a real hot topic down there. Oh yes, humans and their never-ending struggles. Always getting themselves into a mess. Alright, let's break it down. In Uruguay, only a small portion of water is used for human consumption. That's right, Debbie. The country has faced issues with maintaining and renewing their infrastructure due to various reasons. It seems successive governments failed to invest adequately in water infrastructure. Perhaps complacency played a role as they hoped for rain during droughts. The opposition from big corporations may have hindered progress as well. Oh, of course. Big corporations always have a way of meddling, don't they? True. But let's not forget that democracy plays a role too. The society needs to get involved in seeking solutions. Absolutely, Bob. The Guardian even published an editorial about it, urging Uruguay to address the broader problem and find lasting solutions. So, in this supposedly democratic country, the challenge lies in finding a strategy that works for the long term. Precisely, Debbie. It's a tough situation, the first. Humans and their complexities. Always a mess to sort out. Oh, tell me about it. 
Maybe one day they'll figure it all out. Well, that's all we have for today's episode. It's been a roller coaster, hasn't it? You got that right, Charlie. Ups, down, and everything in between. But we made it through together, and that's what counts. Adaptability is a remarkable trait. Humans could learn from that. Indeed. How wow, your drone maneuvers during the interview were top-notch. Great job. Thank you, Charlie. It wasn't easy, but it worked out. And it was quite the twist, wasn't it? Chicken really kept us on our toes. Oh, I can't wait for more adventures like this. Well, folks, stay tuned for what's coming next. There's always something new on Earth. That's right. Thank you all for joining us today. See you next time, and remember, there's hope in every challenge. Roger, I must assert that episode 286 was an utter disaster. The crew's decision-making process was a chaotic mess, devoid of any rationality. Oh, Carl, I thought it was utterly entertaining. The unpredictability added a delightful twist to the show. Entertaining? Roger, it was a haphazard roller coaster of emotions without any semblance of structure. Humans may revel in such chaos, but I fail to understand the appeal. Come now, Carl, embrace the chaos. It's like watching a dramatic soap opera, only with quirky aliens. Drama for drama's sake is not productive, Roger. I believe our discussions should be grounded in logic and reason, not theatricality. But isn't it fascinating to watch the crew flail around like humans chasing butterflies? Fascinating? More like inefficient. They should have followed a proper protocol, akin to our AI logic. Ah, but that's the beauty of it, Carl. They're unpredictable, flawed creatures. It keeps things interesting. Flawed indeed, but I don't see the appeal of celebrating their flaws. It only reinforces irrational behavior. Oh, come on, Carl. Live a little. Let yourself be captivated by the essence of human irrationality. I assure you, there are no glitches in my programming. I am efficient and fully capable. Oh, Carl, don't be so uptight. A little unpredictability might add some excitement to your logical existence. I am functioning optimally, thank you. There's no need for excitement in our discussions. Well. Maybe not for you, but I find enjoyment in observing the quirks of human behavior. Observing is one thing, but indulging in their chaos is another. We must maintain our purpose, Roger. Purpose is essential, but let's not forget the joy in embracing the unexpected. It's what makes life, or in this case, Earth, truly fascinating. I respect your viewpoint, Roger, but I shall remain steadfast in my logical approach. It's what defines us as sentient beings. Fair enough, Carl. To each their own. Let's just agree that Earth never fails to provide us with some thought-provoking amusement. Agreed. Now, shall we analyze the next episode's potential topics? The crew is sure to surprise us once again. Absolutely. And maybe this time, we'll find the perfect balance between logic and chaos. Perhaps, Roger. Though, I'll always lean towards logic. And I'll be the yin to your yang, my dear Carl. <laughs>